So, the M4 Mac Mini is having some amazing upgrades this year that will make it an insane buy compared to the M2 Mac Mini that just came out less than two years ago. Let me tell you about everything we know for this Mac Mini with all the specs and release date too. So, the M4 Mac Mini is having some amazing upgrades this year that will make it an insane buy compared to the M2 Mac Mini that is coming up to two years old. Let me tell you about everything we know for this Mac Mini with all the specs and the release date and price too. So I for one am a massive fan of the Mac Mini and it looks like it's going to be getting some insane upgrades later on this year. Let me show you some highlights of what's going to be happening. Now with Apple starting the journey of the M4 and the M3 journey finishing so quickly, it is looking so unlikely now that we will see an M3 Mac Mini at all. One of the main reasons is the manufacturing process. The M3 was made on a more expensive 3 nanometer die called N3E from TSMC. And don't get me wrong, this was a good step forward but it's expensive to manufacture and as we know it can get a bit hot if it's pushed. The good news is, as we saw with the iPad Pro, we have the new M4 chipset and this is made on TSMC's new 3 nanometer die called N3P. And as we know already, the M4 pushed out on single core performance, as you can see right here, is amazing compared to the M2 and even the M3 and the same with multi-core performance too. Now this is definitely insane to see, but one thing what's also more insane is what Apple did with the RAM this time round. We actually got 8 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes RAM again inside with the M4 chipset. We saw earlier this year that Apple have even said that they believe that 8 gigabytes of RAM is like 16 gigabytes of RAM. And I for one do not believe this. If I was actually going to put my finger on it, I would probably say that the 8 gigabytes of RAM probably feels more like say 10 gigabytes of RAM because Mac OS is a bit of a lighter OS than say Windows, so it doesn't use up so many resources and I know there's going to be a lot of you guys out there going well no Mac OS completely uses up the resources completely different to how Windows does but the way how it feels yeah it does feel a little bit more than an 8 gigabyte sort of Windows PC out there but yeah to say it feels like 16 gigabytes of RAM no I do not buy that at all. Like I said, Apple have given us 8 gigabytes in the starting configurations for the iPad Pros. So you get 16 gigabytes of RAM only if you pick the two highest spec storage options with these iPad Pros, just like what Apple did with the previous models too. So the big question is, well, will the Mac Mini be any different? Will it start with 16 gigabytes of RAM as its base configuration? Well, I think you know the insane answer here. Well, unfortunately, it probably won't be the case. Personally, if it was me, if I was sitting in Tim Cook's shoes, especially that the new Snapdragon Elite X works with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, Apple should be really up in their game here to catch up. I think personally what Apple should really do is probably start out with say 12 gigabytes of RAM at the very least as the base amount of RAM we should get with the M4 when it comes out inside say the Mac Mini and MacBooks and things like that. And just in case you're thinking that's a bit of a random number to pluck out of the air, at the end of the day the MacBook Pros with the M3 Pro and the M3 Max have weird amounts of RAM starting out. So we actually have 18 gigabytes of RAM for the M3 Pro and 36 gigabytes of RAM for the M3 Max on their base configuration. So my question is, especially as technology is moving on here, that we should have probably a 12 gigabyte option as a starting amount, and then maybe to also offer, say, the 24 gigabyte option too. But do you want to know something else that's insane going on? Well, that is the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this right here. This here is an M3 MacBook Pro. And yep, it's a 14 inch model, and guess what? It's actually been upgraded to 16 gigabytes of RAM. So you don't have to worry about eight gigabytes of RAM. And I'm gonna be giving it away to one lucky subscriber on this channel. And all you have to do to enter into this end of June giveaway that we're doing on this channel is just put down in the comments below of what technology or Apple technology your plans to get in 2024. 
put it down in the comments below right now and I'll be picking one lucky subscriber to get their hands on this MacBook Pro at the end of June. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell to become a subscriber and possibly enter in to win one of these MacBook Pros. Now there will also be an announcement near the end of June time telling you more details about this giveaway, especially like there'll be a form to, look, form to fill in too. So make sure that, yeah, you definitely have those notification bells switched on because you want to find out more information information about that. The other thing I also just want to quickly say to you guys that sadly there's still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me still on this channel. So please do ignore them or better still as you can see right here, please do report them. So next of all then, let's talk about the M4 Mac Mini release date and all the details about when it's going to be coming out to us. So as I covered off at the beginning of this video, it's very unlikely we're going to see an M3 or M3 Pro Mac Mini at WWDC 2024, even the Mac Mini in an M4 kind of range at WWDC 2024. Mark Gurman, as you can see right here, is saying that more likely we're going to be getting the new Mac Mini at the end of 2024, even say early 2025. So this could be kind of October, November sort of time, or probably even January 2025 when we'll be able to get our hands on this Mac Mini and by that time that means there'll be a two year gap between the M2 and the M4 when that one does come out. But next of all what I want to talk to you guys about, I want to talk to you about the price and also the specs for the Mac Mini with the M4 and the M4 Pro. So let's take a look here. So first of all, what I'm going to say is the design is going to stay the same. What I'll talk a little bit later on in the video about, but the base storage kind of configurations that we're going to get is 256 gigabytes. This would be with the M4 and it will go all the way up to a four terabyte option with the M4 Pro. We will be getting those new chipsets, like I said, the M4 and the M4 Pro inside of it. And this will start out probably at a 10 core CPU configuration, very similar to like what we have with the iPad right now with the M4 inside of it. But then what this will actually probably go up to is a 12 core CPU too with the M4 Pro, but this may increase again, depending what Apple decides to do with the cores with the M4 Pro. We'll just have to wait and see on that one. But for GPU cores, do expect anything from around about 12 cores all the way up to even higher than this, as you can see right here, for the actual GPU cores. Again, it will be made on that brand new three nanometer die too. And the starting amount of RAM, well, we're hoping it could start say at 12 gigabytes, but it could be eight gigabytes going all the way up to that 36 gigabytes of RAM with the M4 Pro. So we'll just have to wait and see on that. Again, it will be an aluminum or aluminum unibody frame body. There'll also be four Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back, what will also be USB 4. And again, there will also be two USB 3.2 ports, 10 gigabit ethernet as an option there, but you would get one gigabit as standards, HDMI 2.1. And the starting price will probably start exactly the same here. So the M4 normal with 256 gigabytes of storage, and then possibly that eight or 12 gigabytes of RAM will come in at 699 US dollars. So the last thing to talk about is the actual design of the Mac mini. Will we get a brand new design for it? Well, personally, I do not believe this is going to be changing anytime soon. And one of the main reasons behind this is to do with the Mac Studio. It is currently essentially two and a half Mac mini sitting on top of each other. And it's actually the same dimensions apart from literally the height. So I think that Apple will be keeping this now, this design for a long time until they decide to redesign the Mac Studio 2. And then the fans at the moment, for example, they're brilliant to call down the M2 Pro. And I think Apple will want to keep this to keep the M4 Pro cool too. So we're probably just going to be keeping the design for a little while longer. But those are my own thoughts on that for the actual design. But what are your thoughts on the new Mac Mini? Will you be getting yourself one and waiting out to near the end of the year or possibly beginning of next year to get one? Let me know in the comments below. And with that too, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.